game is so in depth. You just started today. Well, welcome to the farm sim community. Oh, rain messed up your plan. That sucks. Sorry. Rain right here. I was supposed to be working on a planner for two days. You got a shed you can park it in, right? Uh, I'll just bring it in to your room with you. Yeah. We got two sheds, but just most of them are full of junk. another person's planner. I'll close uh, up her. You got another person's planner chilling at your farm? Yeah. Is it better than yours? Oh, yeah. Then just use it. Hey, tell me, like, you want to keep this but here? We don't even this have your... the tractor for it. Tell them bring a tractor over for a couple days. Be like, yo, can we borrow your tractor and then just, like, go plant? Yeah, but this person would have probably charge us to use their stuff. <laughs> Or faster. I'm glad, to, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I'm glad you found my advice. I, I really, I'm really happy about that. Awesome professor. Glad to hear it. Good job. It's the only way to be. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> That's too funny, professor. Too funny. I know you're just playing. That's funny. Yeah. Person, they moved the QD. I moved the QD. Every time I hear QD, not QD. QD. It isn't like, wow, you're a QD. I've never heard that before, have I? <laughs> Goodness me. But yeah. Every time, that's what I hear. Just make loud grunts while lifting too. Yes. Oh, night. Booty snow. No. no. Uh, no problem. No problem. Hope I could help. You know. Love answering questions about this game. There. Uh, there's so many. This game has so much to it. There's so many things to learn. NVIDIA update is taking too long. I'm sorry, Steven. You're the only one. Your silverware goes missing in action? That used to happen when I was a kid, but I swear one of my brothers was just throwing it in the trash. Pretty sure that's what happened. Oh, yeah. Yo, nice left. Very nice. Awesome. Like socks, yeah. Socks can definitely go missing, yeah. Or, or like the one you want to go missing with like the sock with a hole in it, you're just like, I'm gonna, I need to throw that away. And then you grab it and you wear it again. And you're just like, I wish that one would go missing. But for some reason, that sock never goes missing, you know? All right, uh, Big Al, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. Oh, Sarge, I'm sorry. Oof. I'm in your way. You're good. I'll pull up. We might be able to get it. There you go. You got it. No, maybe. That. That. Kind of. All right, I'll get out of here. <laughs> oh, good. I'm leaving in my blue tractor. Don't know when Farmer Nick will be straightened out again. <laughs> I had a little leg spike going around that corner, then I, all of a sudden I was jackknifed against a tree over there. One minute you're on the road looking at the scenery, and the next moment you're in the scenery looking at the road. Okay. Yeah. On the big field, lime wise. Do we just want to wait until the other three hit, or. Uh, Sarge, I'm sorry. I was reading for, or, uh, Chinese Rocket Debris uh, combat. Okay. Mom was not smoking <laughs> anything, but you you're know. good. What do you want to do, Sarge? Sorry. 
I was wondering on the big deal. Yeah. Do we want to do that one or do we want to wait for basically the fields to show up? As far as liming, I would wait. Okay. Just let it get all synced up, you know? Yeah. But I'll hit the other fields. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. The holy sock never gets lost. That's right. And then I have I have a holy sock right now in my rotation of socks I've been wearing. And I look for it because I'm like, I'm going to throw it away. And then I can never find it until I put it on my foot. And then I'm like, dang it, I found the holy sock again. And it's like up on the side of my ankle where the hole is, too. It makes no sense. It's like the weirdest spot ever. She would accuse you. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, Farmer Nick, I'll have the last uh, load here. All right. Yeah, Mom did kind of get salty about people throwing away her utensils. Because <laughs> I swear it happened. I mean, yeah. The only time I saw that happen was when I was in school. Oh, really? Well, people would throw away, like, perfectly good forks, knives, and spoons. My grandma went on a cruise one time. She was like... Uh, maybe like 80 or so at the time. And somehow she brought a knife home with her, like a butter knife from the cruise. And she flew with it in her purse and didn't know it was there. How? I don't know. How they let that through I, TSA? I, well, it might have been, uh, well, it wouldn't have been before 9-11. It might have been before 9-11. But anyway, I just remember grandma was looking at her purse one day and she's like, oh, there's a there's a knife. What? <laughs> knife. I said, that was before TSA, yeah. Yeah, she accidentally stole a butter knife off a cruise and brought it home. Huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, nowadays, like, they wouldn't even let you pass. Oh, no. Nowadays, no. Not at all. But back then, it was a different world, you know? A different world before the whole TSA thing. You used to be able to, like, take somebody to the airport and walk them all the way to the gate. You know? You just walk right in. There was no security. That was pretty cool back in the day, actually. Or, or yeah, I guess you maybe did you have to go through a metal detector? But, like, they didn't um, care. For Why the you... longest time, no. Yeah. It was just, you walk right in. Do your thing. I and... mean, there was security for the ground, but yeah, I am. Yeah. Whatever. But it wasn't, like... Like it is nowadays. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. How's it going? <laughs> Grandma would get tackled. No, it wouldn't be on YouTube. It'd be on TikTok, bro. Come on. And then on YouTube. Yeah. No, the original would be on YouTube and some scam account. Yeah, that's true. For their TikTok. It'd be like, my new video. And it's You're right? ripped off of YouTube. And it like has the YouTube logo in it and everything. And they just like, you know, crop it out a little bit. Yeah, they would do that. Nobody would. Boy, that's a big field of soul biting, sir. Was a big field of, is a big field of, well, was, you know what I mean, chat. It was soybeans. Not anymore, but it sure was. All right, Sarge, you're doing some liming. Yep. I need to get another one of those, don't we? Yeah, I'm thinking like, like when our sister went overseas for the first time, like I believe we walked her to the gate and like, I don't know if we watched her plane leave, but I know we like sat there and watched planes go around and land and take off and stuff. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Those were the days, man. Kind of miss it. I don't miss it. All right. So we have, okay, we have one of these spreaders. Is that the big lime spreader, Sarge, or is that the smaller one? I think I got the bigger one, too. Is it tandem axle? Yes. Okay. And all we have, we only have that one, right? Yeah. All right. I haven't been in this tractor at all today. 
Hit our X. Uh, let's see. We need to do that plus... Okay, yeah. We're going to invest in a spreader. I'll be back in a little bit. All right. We'll catch you, Farmer Nick. $89,000 well spent. We're going to make a ton of money off the... Uh, Bunch of doodles. The beans. Mm -hmm. I remember going over there. Hmm? Chinese Rocket to Beer. I remember that. It was awesome. We sold the little one. Okay. Thank you, Bert. I couldn't remember. Could not remember, sir. I actually wouldn't mind buying a dedicated auger wagon trailer, too. Auger wagon. Um, What's it called? Auger wagon? Lime auger wagon? Did I, just, I said that weird, didn't I? Dedicated lime auger wagon. Yeah. Because we're going to need a bunch of lime. Especially when it comes time to do that big field. That thing's going to be crazy. Um, last time we went with like the little one, it was too small. That's all we could afford right now. So we're, we can't even afford that. Never mind. We're just going to be poor farmers for a little bit. Hopefully we have enough money to pile the line we need, Sarja. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Otherwise, we fast time till... Well, planting. Oh, man. We're going to be broke, Sarge. Planting's technically next for us. Planting herbicide fertilizer. I guess we have eggs we can sell. <coughs> eggs are literally what's going to plant this next crop. Unless we want to plant like straw or something. We could do it without fast time. Or plant straw. You know what I mean. We. I don't care what we plant this next time. Chat, what should we plant? Something like, you know, not fruit crop. Something we have equipment for. Canola. Canola? We never plant canola. Uh, we can't. Right now we could plant uh, wheat or barley. Or grass. <laughs> We could plant grass. Yeah, we already missed come on. Here's another good one. Oil seed radish. Oil seed radish. Oats. Yeah. Kern. Black cat says kern. Kern. Muleberry, there is good money in beans. You're right. But I don't know if we're going to have enough money to plant this next crop right now. I mean, if we fast time, we'll have egg money. We'll have plenty of money from eggs. Um, that's for sure. We'll be fine there. But. Yeah. Ooh, cotton. Oh, Sarge, you shifted lines, didn't you? No, I did are you on the north-south line or the east-west? North-south. Let me reload that. Load the east-west line. Oh. Click the right buttons, John. South. Hey, look at that. It lines up perfect now. Hmm. That is strange. My apologies. I don't know how to run GPS. What else is new? I would like to do cotton. When do you plant cotton? Cotton's either in the winter or in the spring. Okay. Hmm. Cotton would be would be cool, but the problem is with cotton, we either need to bring in that cell that like placeable cell thing, uh, that cell point mod, or buy like a thousand spinneries, and we definitely don't have money for that. I kind of think the cell point would be the way to go. Just bring in the cell point mod and just be done with it. You know, just 
harvest it and sell it. I do like doing the, I, I, you know, we've been doing the soybean spam for a while. I, mean, I know we bailed, we did some, uh, wheat a while back, but for the most part, we've been doing soybean spam, um, which is fine. Get me wrong. Nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, it's nice to grow something else. I'd like to grow corn every, but we don't have that kind of equipment. Speaking of equipment, we need to get rid of that combine before it costs us any money. Any more money. And apparently we have three bale trailers sitting around, so we'll go ahead and chuck those out. And we'll keep the brocks because that's a good, a good thing to have around. Nothing we need, need in the used market, that's for sure. A little, little, little tiny cultivator. No, thank you. But I'm really nervous about sixty thousand dollars. But like I said, if we fast time, we'll have money from, uh, we'll have money from the chickens. Kind of an insurance policy for us. You're playing Elk Mountain and you have a bunch of red lines that outline everything. Wise guy, I have no idea. Well, what about contracts? Any contracts we can do? We do have contracts needed? we can do, yeah. Probably. Uh, there's a couple. Oh, there's a cotton harvest contract. Hmm. They have some little contracts we could do. There's nothing, nothing spectacular. In contract land. Okay. I mean, we know if we, you know, a trailer load of, uh, a trailer load of eggs is like 130,000, roughly. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Why is the guy? I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help you on that one. Uh, chat, does anybody have an idea? Uh, what could be causing wise guys issue there? I'm going to guess maybe a mod conflict, but I don't know. I do not know. And thanks for that Probably follow. Dev tools on then. Oh okay, yeah, you got your dev tools on by accident? That could be a thing too. Appreciate the follows, guys. Welcome in. How are y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. A good Saturday. And that one as well. Hey chat. <laughs> pepper. Not pepper. Llama is what I was going to say. Llama, I have not. No, not today. Scared me, not going to lie. Uh, Black Cat, thanks for the bits, bro. Appreciate you. That's what I was... Okay, yeah, Trent has a good point. She just left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, but that could be a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing if you have your dev tools enabled, you probably hit a dev tool button by accident. Yeah. They really only get those red lines to pop up is hitting F5 once or three times with dev tools. Yeah. That's true. That could be a thing. Oh man, do we come back and align that edge chat? That'd be a waste of lime, right, chat? Be a waste of lime, right? You're saying yes to what? Yes, it would be a waste of lime, or yes, we should. I asked two questions. I asked too many questions. Full set. Okay, I guess we have to do it. Okay. That's the way I interpret that. <laughs> There's the answer to your two questions, sir, John. That's Dang it. We leave it. <laughs> All right, I'll do it, Chip. I'll do it. Okay, so you'll bury. Was it a contract or no? Because in a contract, it doesn't matter. Especially if you're talking about the fertilizer, your little triangle that she left last night. Because I was watching. I was watching. And in contracts, it doesn't matter because when you finish a contract, if you didn't say fertilize the whole field or, or cultivate a whole field or whatever, 
the game finishes it for you. I don't think a lot of people realize that. I'm not going to lie. Like earlier today, we cultivated at uh, 26. And we didn't finish it. We It popped up, said we were done. Okay, we drove away. You know? But on your own field, yeah, that's a little different. Just saying. You don't remember? Okay. I got you, Bear. You just know I gotta I gotta stick up for my friend, that's all. Just saying. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Appreciate the follows, guys. How y'all doing? Oop, there's a spot there too. Well that spot doesn't need lime, so never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Bert, you're not wrong. The cotton mission would technically pay us twice, yeah. Yeah. Well, but if you haven't enabled your dev tools, Enabling them and then hitting an F5 is not going to fix it. I don't have my dev tools on. I'm hitting F5. Doesn't do anything because I don't have my dev tools on. You know what I'm saying, chat? Doesn't do anything. Trey, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? I did this little skipper and I left a little skipper anyway. Look at me. Oh, wait. This doesn't need lime, does it, Sarge? Nope. No, it don't. It don't. You're right. Uh, using the thing between my, my ears, chat. I'm really using it today. That's my brain, in case y'all don't know. I don't really have one, so. Yeah, good. Is he with work? I am great, Trey. Doing great, man. Doing great. I had a good day of farming. You know, every, every day I'm farming. Good day. I had a good time playing ATS last night once I got it to work. Had some issues, but well, you got them figured out. We were good to go after that. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be at my farm. And, uh, talk to Dad. I'm going to grade the lane again tomorrow. Which means time on the Hopefully I can do tracker. my lane, too. Yeah. Means time on the 995. Therefore, I will be in a great mood tomorrow. As long as I have my earplugs, listen to some good tunes, spend an uh, hour and a half or so working on the working on the lane. About what it'll take. Maybe close to two hours, something like that. That's what mine takes too. It's about an hour, two hours. Uh, did not know that. No. Takes about two hours, trip. Right around there. Depends what I do. I'll probably go over it another time or two with the Harrow tomorrow. Because, like, this is hopefully going to be the last time. Because, like, the first time I did it this year was basically just, like, we had to close ruts. You know, we had six-inch deep ruts from end to end of the lane, and in spots there were three sets. Okay, that's, that's a lot, right? And so I was just like, I need to close the, the, the ruts up, you know, and go from there. Well, hopefully this time we're done with like w winter weather and stuff. And, uh, so I'll get it done. I'll do the normal thing I do with the blade, which the blade that's, uh, I do like basically four passes or two rounds with the blade. And then the last time I only did one round with the hero, I'll probably do two or three this time. Just to really get it kind of packed down like I want it and everything, you know? Yeah, say I, I deep rip. Deep think, rip? Uh, well, because I have that box blade. Hmm. And it has, uh, the shanks have two slots on it. You can rip okay. it or kind of just do it shallow. I got you. Yeah, I don't have that. A box blade would be nice, but... 
I figured it out with regular blood. The box blades are nice, but I feel like I can do it a lot faster with a bucket. With a bucket? On the tractor. You're gonna grade a mile long road with a bucket? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I was, I was talking like my parents' driveway. <laughs> Say, there, there ain't no shot you're grading our lane with a bucket. <laughs> it ain't happening. <laughs> Be out there for six years. If I had a skid loader, I might be able to do a bucket. No. 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 Because no. at least with my lane, like the gravel and stuff gets pushed out so far, you got to like bring it back in. Oh. So it's all the blade works good for that. Got to so. mount it back up in the middle. Kind of. Oh, you didn't hit F4, R5, and it fixed it. Awesome. Well, that's good. Flat is fixed. That's very weird. Uh, I'm so what I usually do is I because like the three point hitch, the one side has like the like a screw jack basically, so you can raise and lower one side of the hitch, you know. So I always lower yeah. that side. That's the right side. So I, I angle the blade. We'll call it back left or front right corner up up, you know. I, I angle that and then I drive that side of the three point hitch down and I'm only trying to take like, I don't want to go that deep. You know, I only want like an inch, maybe two inches worth of like digging. Right. And you just want to grab that rock that's at the edge and pull it back. Yeah. And so I do that for each side. I just need to get a small bulldozer. Well, that that's another option too, black cat. Yeah. Are you going to buy it for me? Well, I mean, John, you have those John Deers. <laughs> and there is that video that we saw. <laughs> a dad would kill me. Turn yeah. a little John Deere 111 into a road grader. <laughs> but I yes. think at the same time, he might be in favor because he might want to jump on it. <laughs> oh, man. I want, like, an old Alice Chalmers road grader. I think that would be awesome to have. I've always wanted one. I'd... Right in my lane every week of the summer. Put me in, coach. Now you just need to find more John Deere 111s. Yeah. And there, he, there you go. You can get up to 120 frames now. Yeah. I'd be curious, actually. I, I should turn my dev tools on just so I can unlock my frame rate just for funsies. Because uh, I have no idea in 22 what kind of frames I could get. Uh, but anyway, so I scrape basically each side of the lane, put it towards the middle. And then see, we have like people, especially for pumpkin day, some of the people that come down have like small cars that sit low. So we don't like a real like mounted up road. Yeah. We like kind of a flat road. Grandpa used That's to mount that sucker to like, he used to mount the road big time. Even a 2% camber would be plenty for him. And then dad used to mount it up big time too. Cause that's what grandpa always did. And then. The first year I graded the lane, I like, because grandpa, okay, grandpa, first off, grandpa would usually wait until like the grass was greened up and then you had to deal with like root wads and stuff. I like to get out yeah. there before everything greens up so you don't have to deal with that. Not like right now. Yeah. So like tomorrow's going to be a perfect day to finish it up. So anyway, grandpa was real aggressive too. So he would dig a lot of dirt to the center from each side of dirt slash gravel is we don't have enough rock in our road. It's mostly dirt, but anyway. Um, and then he would turn the blade all the way around backwards and drag the lane that way to kind of smooth and break up clods and stuff. But what I started doing is just setting the blade straight on and pretty level left to right. And then I just drag that. Uh, and I do that for two passes to kind of like take the center and push it back out a little bit. And that gives you the real flat road. So, uh, hi, what's up? Not much. What's going on? How's it going? Welcome in. So I, I like to do that and that kind of really like flattens the road out and then just go at it a few times with a drag arrow and you're good to go. On the floor. Right, Bert. I think a grader would be, uh, I think a road grader would be so much fun to have. I really do. Being that, you know, we maintain a mile of road, so like, why not, you know? Hey, my lane's almost a mile. 
Even one of the really, really old road graders that's toe behind. That black cat. Wow, really? Black cat, that is what I need. Yes, in Discord. Exclamation point Discord. That is what I need, black cat. Absolutely. Yes. That'd be fun. <laughs> My nephew would go play on that. Just saying. Oh, you just lost three hundred thousand dollars charger. Needed update. Didn't load in. Oh no. That's a problem. Now I have a Discord notification. I like it. I cleared it. Don't worry. We're good. That is a cute little bulldozer. Right. I need that apparently. Thanks, Black Hat. <laughs> yeah, even like a, if you had like one that worked, was in like decent working shape and not completely wore out, an old like tow behind road grader would be awesome. They have one over in Pinkneyville they use. And it's cool. Just saying. Well, we, we demoed a skid loader attachment this summer. Mm -hmm. A little bulldozer blade that goes on the front of it. It's, uh, I think it's like a considered a four way blade. Oh, and it has like two wheels in the front? No, it's just it's just attached to the. It looks like a bulldozer blade, but has a oh. skid loader attachment to it. That's interesting. It works amazing. Hmm. Can't can't plow snow with it though. <laughs> you plow snow with it, you will. Nice Anything you hit will be gone. Oh, no give, huh? Yeah, there's no give with that blade. I can see that. Yeah, Bert, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I always, I always see like the toe behind ones, like old school stuff. And I'm like, that would be so cool to have. I don't know. Like I just Mike think Mitchell even has one of those. Right? Oh, I guess his father-in-law does, but. I got gotcha. you. Pretty cool. Oh, the formula in Wisconsin came with it. Nice. Very nice. Originally set up for horses. Very nice, Professor. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's cool. I think they. No, over in Pinkneyville, I was going to say they pull it with horses, but no, they have one and they pull it with a little, uh, a little like two track tractor. And we're talking like yeah. old, you know, steel, everything. Yeah. Old school yeah. stuff. Back when Caterpillar used to make those little two track tractors. Yeah. Pretty cool old stuff though. Of course, that's yeah, their thing over there. Everything's old. I saw one of those old tow behind, uh, Wheat harvesters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, being pulled by one of those little cat dozers. And at first I thought it was like a D3 dozer. No. Nope. Without its blade. No, just bashful. Just said old two track right. cat. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Before that, I didn't really made them. Steel wheels and all, Professor. Nice. That would be something I would, I would totally like to have that at the farm. I think that'd be super cool. Like, oh, time You're to nice grade the lane. All right, noise. pops, let's go. <laughs> Take two of us. One person's got to drive the tractor. Be so cool. I don't know. I think it'd be awesome. I don't almost feel like he would enjoy that. <laughs> Felbosaurus Drax, what's going on? How are you doing today? Do a trap? I said, I kind of almost feel like your dad would probably enjoy oh, yeah. doing that. Probably. He'd probably be the one driving the tractor. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I feel like those that kind of grader uses a lot of physical labor to run it. He's got them, like two wheels, right? For just on each side. Yeah. Yeah. A couple levers and levers and doodads and... I just, I just, it. Yeah, I just feel like those levers would take a lot of force behind them to move you know them and stuff. Do. You just need, to, need some grease probably, right? Something. Oh, Jen, I just ran out of one. Okay, come on, boy. I got some more. That's it. Oh, dang. Sarge, yes. 
Yeah. See, that's it's another thing I'd like start to start looking at that and uh, come up with a plan to fabricate. I say there's not that much to that. Mm -mm. I, I've never seen one of those actually that at that size. I, be, them. I could pull that with my tractor, right? Yeah, your 995 should be able to pull that just fine. <laughs> I've only ever seen them you like know, the farmers maybe not that broke gear, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that tractor's got got sixty five old school horsepower. It'll pull anything. <laughs> Just because somebody can go twelve miles an hour with something doesn't, doesn't mean they're mean doing should. a good job. <laughs> That's actually pretty slick. See, I've always wanted one of those, uh, the three-point hitch, uh, like, road grader things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I have an idea. I've always wanted one of those, and it's just like, they're so expensive. That, yeah, that's not happening, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Because, like, realistically, once we get through... You know, we pre we should pretty well be done with it now. Uh, but once we get through like any quote winter, um, which we should be, we should be done or at least soon be done with it. You know, um, the lane's not bad the rest of the year. You know, as long as we don't get a big rain and people try to drive in and out during a rain, if you let it have half an hour, it the lane's fine. It firms up. It drains. Uh, if we get a little water hole or a pothole throughout the summer, not hard to go out there with, uh, um, Steven, you're good. It's not hard to go out there with a, you know, loader bucket with a half scoop of gravel or something, mm -hmm. you know, fill in a low spot. But realistically, I don't use my grading stuff very often, but so like, I can't justify a lot of money on is what I'm getting at, you know? Do you just to like do touch ups with the blade every once in a while during the summer then? The blade only comes out in the spring. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know if you did a touch up here and there. A land plane. Yeah. I think that's what it's called, right? Phil's horse rights? Land plane? I'm gonna look that up. I think so. I think that's what it is. Uh, so I have just a three point hitch. Uh, I call it a dozer blade. I, I don't know what, what else you call it. Just a three point hitch blade. And that's what I grade my driveway our mile long lane with at the farm. Uh, filled with source tracks. That's what I use. I'll be using it tomorrow. It's definitely something I've had to learn over the years, how to like make it work. You know, it is definitely um something i've had to work on land planes like this. yes yes the land plane that is what i've always wanted it's a cheater version version of a box blade yeah yeah it, i wouldn't call it a cheater version it just i think it makes actually a smoother roadway than a box blade does i can see that it's more of what I would call like a finish tool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like with the six inch deep ruts that we had, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I probably would have done it. If if they're like three inches, I could easily see a land plane uh, taking yeah. care of them. But the, uh, uh, what's it called? The blades, it's, yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, who's... Oh, sorry, are you tabbed out right now? No? Yeah, I was for a second. Our, no. okay. There you go. I like that one, John. You're good. Yeah, Trent, that's a, like a lane plane, yeah. But see, yeah, I see, can't... That's kind of one I want to get. I can't really justify $1,500 for something I'm going to use once a year. <laughs> Maybe twice a year, you know? Same. The hardest thing about a motor grader is getting used to the light you control. I could see that. Motor motor graders take a lot of uh, skill. There's a lot of controls there, right? Yeah. Uh, you got your 
blade roll, you can roll the blade, you yeah. can turn the blade, you can slide the blade, mm -hmm. you can angle the blade. The first, if I were to ever get one, which I probably won't, the first thing I would do is go out into my garden and just play with it. Yeah, get used to it. Yeah, just run back and forth and, you know, make a, a, a mound and then... Or make a whatever you want to call it, like you know, just scrape dirt this way and scrape dirt back that way and scrape dirt this way and scrape it back that way. And I probably never get one, but it would be cool to have. It would be. Um, we don't really have money to buy equipment, so I don't really need to check that. But we do need to feed our chickens. Gotta keep those. Uh, gotta keep them going here. Probably have enough eggs to run all over here in a minute too, won't we? Yeah. Probably. But yeah, a land plane I would love to have, but realistically, for something I'd use a couple times a year, it's just not justifiable. The, the dozer blade that we've had, it was my grandpa's. Obviously, it's well paid for. Um, with as little as we actually use it, I'll never wear out the cutting edge. So I'm not even worried about that. It can be flipped. Never been flipped. Like, Grandpa barely used it. You know, he'd grade the lane once or twice a year, and that was it, you know? So, actually, I don't even think Grandpa would grade the lane every year back in the day. I'm pretty picky about the lane, so, like, I'm... You? I'm pretty well on, like... Gotta be a certain way, you know? You're picky about your lane, too, there, John? Do what? I said you're picky about your lane, too. I'm very picky about it, yeah. I'm very picky about it. I got you, Bert. I got you. An old feeder house changed from a junk combine. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a great idea, actually. Feeder house chain, that, that would work. That would work quite well, actually, wouldn't it? I never really even thought about that. Neither. I, I mean, I know a lot of farmers. I don't know if they'd have one laying around, but I could ask. I could ask. They'd probably have one laying around in the junk pile. Be like, don't worry about why. <laughs> I mean, once it, I mean, if you told them what you're going to use it for, they'd be like, huh, that's Actually, a good idea. The guys that bought my farm would probably give me one because they use my lane like all year round. So, yeah. Uh... Rubber track, uh, skid loader, and escalator tracks work somewhat. <laughs> I hadn't heard of. Elvisaurus Rex, it's at least a six beer job. I don't drink while I'm driving my tractor. I am a safe operator. Okay. Even the metal tracks there, Farmer Nick. Yeah. I am a safe operator, all right? Mm. Safe operator chatter, okay? Are we planting cotton? Well, if we do that, we have to bring that cell point in, which is fine. I don't care. We ever decide what we're planting, chat? Never did. I'm just fast time. Don't mind me. No, we really had. Oh. Uh, I mean, do we have cap? Well. I mean, kind of, but. I'm assuming we can probably sell a load of eggs by now, right? What was that? Um, we can probably sell eggs. So we'll have some cash for that. Um, actually, there's more than a load of eggs right now, Sarge. So. Okay. We'll have a few awesome. dollars there. I don't really care what we plant. We can plant anything as far as episode, Sarge. I mean, I don't want to plant like sugar beets. Right now we could do oats. Sunflower. Little, 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 little. Stephen 829 right, cheered Dex 100. We need two Apple Bud Light John on golf with friends. Stephen, um. I don't have any more of that. It's not a thing anymore here anyway. Uh, that was a stubborn fall thing. 
Like late summer fall thing. David, thanks for the biddies, though. Appreciate them. Me with a couple beers and golf with your friends, huh? That would be interesting. I've never played golf with your friends um, under the influence. Be interesting. Uh, welcome in. How's it going? Welcome in, chat. So I'm kind of leaning towards we need to plant some cotton, Sarge. Okay. I think we need to make it happen. Because here's the thing. By summer, you know, June, we're going to be selling soybeans. So financially, we'll have money to, you know, at least, at, least a har at least a harvester or two for cotton. I don't want to buy the harvesters because they're a million dollars a piece, but we can lease them. And then we need to find out what sell point thing Matt has. And we can bring that sale. into the map for like Tuesday, right? Bulk sale? Wholesale, yeah. Wholesale. Probably in the mod hub, right? Yep. Okay. So we'll bring that in for Tuesday. So we can sell the cotton. Because uh, the spinnery is just too darn slow. That's all there is to it. It's, it's just too darn slow. So. I'm leaning towards the cotton search. We're gonna plant cotton. We need to plant it right now. Uh, before we fast time in, and then we can always do. I don't know about sunflowers or corn. Both of those we could get equipment for. But. Yeah, I mean we could also drop oats in now too. We could, yeah. The only problem with oats. Is... Excuse me. Uh, the only problem with oats, uh, the man, thanks for the bits. The only problem with oats is we'd have to work the ground, which is fine. No, I'm just saying as far as today without yeah. another fast time. I gotcha. I'm going to go sell eggs. We're going to work on that at least first. Get that done. Uh, llama should, she should be, but I don't know. I don't know. She was talking last night on her stream. She had a big day planned today. So hopefully she is. Yes. I don't know though. Hey. You're with the cotton, not every field. Yeah, me too. I think uh, the big field in cotton. Or... That's what I'm thinking. And then get two of those harvesters or maybe three on lease, of course, because it'd be too much money uh, to buy them. Not going to buy them, but yeah. Oh, Trent, you just sent me the building, or the cell. Cell point. Oh, they took a, a, ta a spinnery and made it a cell point, huh? <laughs> That's all that is, huh? Yep. All right, so we'll have that mod for Tuesday. So not a big deal there. So, yeah. That's what I think. We'll do the big field in cotton. And then other fields and other stuff. Poplars. Uh, Vegas Bowl, no. I'll be sick that day. No. Not without getting some uh, key mods. Like a planter and a harvester. <laughs> Just saying. How much feed do we have left? Uh, wrong tab. This one, we have 331,000. So we're good for a minute, Bert. Thank you. That's a good idea. We need to keep watching that. We do need to keep watch there. I mean, Chinese... you got wheat, barley, and... True. Chinese Rock Debris, have a good uh, drive home. Be safe. Bring me a Baja Blast. Did I say that out loud? Dang. I don't mean it. Alerts. Hello. There should be a follow coming through. Appreciate the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? They'll pop up eventually. Brian? <laughs> uh, Brian? Hit the button, Brian. Brian? <laughs> Here we go. Appreciate the file. How you doing? Welcome in. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We do need... I, I kind of forgot to, like... We were going to plant wheat. We should have already done that kind of thing, you know? 
That's okay. We can always plant. Some in October. If we want to. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That we're good for now. But we do have to remember to sell soybeans, too. So, yeah. But I'm cool with dropping in some oats, Sarge. I'm cool with that. Uh, the only, like I said, the only thing there is we have to cultivate, which is not a big deal. Not a big yeah, deal. We have hey, a, you know, I was just throwing out ideas on that. I know. You're good. We've been doing the soybean spam, so it'd be nice to plant some other stuff. You know? Just saying. But it'll also be really good to sell our, our what is it, 400,000 liters? 406,000 liters of beans? That's going to be really good to sell. So I'm cool with that, you know? I'm definitely okay with that, chat. I'm the hill. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yes, we were planting spam. Ham in a cam. Is that ham in a can? Can't even talk. Yes. Uh, quiz advice for a beard like mine. Um... Um, patience. I think a beard, having a beard shows that you have patience, right? Oil seed radish. Oh, man. I mean, that probably wouldn't be a bad crop for winter. Yeah, that's true. Actually, we should have planted oil seed radish everywhere and then boom, fertilizer. Don't shave. Yeah, that's, that's good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, having a beard shows, I, I think it shows a man has patience, right? Do they though, Bert? I mean, hasn't worked for me yet, you know? Hasn't worked for me yet, Bert. Just saying. Some do though, yes. Uh, have good genetics. Have genetics that allow you to grow a beard, because not everybody does, you know? Not everybody can. You miss the times I would clean shave once a year. Yeah. I am on keyboard and mouse, Lemur. Keyboard and mouse. How's it going? Uh, Bert, or not Bert. Steven, I used to shave like twice a year. I always used to shave for my grandma's birthday. Of course, she's been gone for a long time. So that was really kind of before Puma Plow. Uh, she's been gone like nine years now, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. So, yeah, I guess you're right, Steven. I used to shave every year for my grandma's birthday before Puma Plow. And then after she passed, I kind of did. I think I did it the first year after she passed. Maybe maybe two, but probably just the first one. And then I started shaving, like, on New Year's Eve for, like, the charity. For, like, the extra life thing. And then I just kind of, I don't know. I think I'm going to let it get, like, super long before I shave this time. Like, I think I'm talking, like, super long. Like, out of frame. You know? Like, that's what I'm thinking. We'll see. One of these days, I might just be like, you know what? It's too hot. I'm done. Like, I need to shave my head. You know what? I'm, I think I'm shaving my head tonight, Chet. Because it's going to be hot tomorrow. and I'll be out in the wind, and the hair's just blowing all around. It's... Uh, it's not the strat. I think I'm going to shave my head tonight. Oh. Yeah. Not on stream, of course. Four foot long beard. That would really take some patience. I don't know if I have that kind of patience, Doug. Take a lot of shampoo, too. Bra you made to braid my hair, Steven? No. My hair's not that long. Not worried about setting a ZZ Top beard on fire with a welder. Uh, I actually have burned my beard off at my farm before. Don't recommend it. It's awful. It was terrible. Oh. And I show my hair. No. 
No, I, I don't show myself without a hat anymore. Shave it for a TikTok. Absolutely not, Yulberry. No. Put the bottom of it in a bun. No. <laughs> yeah, so years ago, uh, dad and one of my brothers and I, we were out cleaning up around telephone poles. And it was like the first year that we did it, or power poles. There's no telephone lines. Power poles. And it was like the first year that we did it. And it, it was, it had gotten out of hand because none of the farmers like cared because they didn't take power to their farm. It was just our farm. And so we were cutting down like actual trees and brush and stuff. And so we had a fire going and all of a sudden, you know, we're standing right on this fire to keep warm because it was like 10 degrees out or something. It was stupid cold out. And, uh, all of a sudden there was this little gust of wind and that fire blew at me and just came straight up me. Didn't set me on fire, but it, it got my beard. And like instantly I'm like, oh, that smells terrible. And I'm like smacking my beard and stuff. And like all this white hair is falling off of my face. It was, you keep yours pretty low after the great beard fire of 21. Oh, oh. So needless to say, when I came home that night, I had to shave because all I could smell was burning hair and it was awful. Wow, Bert, thank you for putting that in a whisper, Bert. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Holy cow, Steven, that sounds terrible, buddy. Hey. Is it hard to take care of your beard? So I probably don't do as much beard like maintenance as I should. Uh, I don't do any like beard oil or anything, and I probably should. Uh, but I, I wouldn't even know where to start with that stuff, to be honest. Um, I just like shampoo it and that's it. I don't know. I don't really take care of it. I just have it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. That's all. Sometimes it gets to the point where it's just like, all right, I'm done with this thing. Gave it off. What? What am I hearing on the scanner right now? Somebody's hanging on the side of a semi truck right now. The man, we will catch you later. Have a good night. Drive faster, they'll get off. <laughs> <laughs> I think they said it was a possible domestic, like she's trying to get away from him or something. It doesn't sound good, whatever's going on. Well. Bert, that's great. Is it a beer truck? I don't know. It might be an ice cream truck. Was that day an ice cream? Uh, uh, there's the tractor. I was like, where's the tractor I'm looking for? We're gonna do uh. Oh, we gotta we gotta do a little cultivate. Totally fine by me. You can't make the stuff. You can't. The stuff that like and, and you know this stuff happens everywhere. MW right? Like this stuff just it happens everywhere. But without listening to a scanner all the time, you just never know all the crazy stuff that happens around you, all the time. You know. And it's like, and this isn't a one person call in 911 either. They said they had multiple, multiple calls. So like, it's happening. You know, it's crazy. Farming Lord, what's going on? How are you doing today? I'll be right back. All right, Trent. <laughs> Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, Sarge, you're fertilizing over there in like 43, right? Yes, I am. You want to plant that one in oat? I'll come cultivate it. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but... No, I'm just throwing down the first stage of earth. Might as well, yeah. Yeah, you hear st weird stuff in your scanner. Yeah, it, it the weird stuff happens everywhere. 
You know, the crazy's all around us, chat. The crazy's everywhere, you know? It really is. You just don't know about it. Do I like John Deere Morgan Case? It doesn't matter to me. I don't prefer a brand. Uh, this boy, yes and no. How many sheet pens can a spinnery keep up with? I am not totally sure on that number, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, so, yes, I do play with fans. Uh, but, oh, okay, I'm going to go repair this tractor first thing. Because this thing is busted. Um... <sighs> Laughed really. Okay. Um, basically, people got to come in our team speak and get to know us. Steven, we'll catch you. Won't catch you later. Yeah. I got you, Rocket Mountain. So, people have to come in our team speak and get to know us before I will play games with them. Uh, especially before letting them on my life my server um we've been burned by a lot of random people in the past so i don't i don't do that anymore uh we do have an open server that's running uh the guys are playing right now uh a cross play server in fact so if you're interested in that all the information for that can be found in discord black hat thank you how many sheet pens does So, I don't know, because we were supplementing with cotton, too. It wasn't just, it wasn't just, we had six sheep pens at one time. But we weren't keeping up with our spinneries at all, I don't think, with just, just full. We were still using, uh, we were still using, what's it called? Uh, cotton, too. Uh, exclamation point discord in the chat. Exclamation point discord in the chat. I'll get you the link. That's all right. You'll wing it. Awesome. I'm sorry. Wish I knew the answer for you. I really do. I do apologize. How many, how many more? Everybody must type Discord. <laughs> Put an estimation point first. Everybody type it. Chat, I can't wait for my new Discord, or my new Discord? No. My new coffee mug to get here. I ordered another one the other day. For all the coffee I joined, drink. There is no problem. Okay. I got you. Uh, for all the coffee I don't drink, chat, I ordered a new coffee bug. It's going to be great. Three pence to one spinner. That could be. That could be. Yeah, because we never did that because we always had, we had made cotton too. We had both. So, yeah. But it's all good. GPS. You know I can't play without my GPS, chat. Gotta have my GPS. Actually, I can play without GPS. I did for, you know. I did for a while. Just say. Alright, for I'll have to look at it later. What, coffee? I don't drink coffee. I uh, do not like the smell of coffee at all. And because I don't like the smell, I've never really tried to drink it. I just, I can't get past the smell. Does anyone in your house really drink it? Nobody in my house. See, the smell, the smell used to drive mom crazy. Oh. And well, mom says no coffee in the house. There's not going to be coffee in the house, you know. Yeah. Uh, 
49 hours, wasn't it? Where? I think it was 49. I can't remember. It is crazy how much milk it produces. Yeah, we would sell our extra milk. We had two cow buildings for one dairy and the bakery. And we would just sell our extra milk. Every single time we'd haul milk, we would sell like two truckloads. It was a crazy amount of milk. But there's good money in that milk, honestly. That stuff was pretty profitable. To be honest with you, it really was. Of course, the cows are a lot of a lot of work to keep up with too, you know. You gotta constantly be making hay and silage and growing straw, you know. You eat instant coffee for breakfast. You haven't bought the bakery and you can't sell it. Why can't you sell milk? Oh, you got to sell it somewhere that's not a production site. You got to sell it somewhere else because with, with the production sites, when you use them as a sell point, they have a capacity still. So say an instance at the, at the bakery, if you're not hauling strawberries and flour and sugar there, whatever it takes to make cakes, then it's not going to like empty that milk. At least that's the way that I understand it. That's kind of weird. So just take it to a different place that it stops milk and you can sell it there. No, uh, I don't know that one. Ram guy, I don't know who that is. No idea. On this map, there's not one. Then you need that sell point building that's in the mod hub where you can sell everything at it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need. You need the sell point that you can sell everything at because they, for some reason, didn't put sell points in their maps. I don't know why. Kind of weird, you know? Just saying. Kind of strange that they didn't do some of the stuff, you know? That's okay. Not sure what's going on, but the dispatcher said state and county are involved. It's never good. That's never fun. Whenever you get the state boys involved, look out. Look out. I agree. So the, the mod is in the uh, mod hub. It's like a placeable sell point that buys everything, apparently. Uh, we'll have it on here starting on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday will be the next time we're on this map, so we'll... We'll be on. Any PC mods on 19, I remember. Oh... I don't RP no. I don't not at all. RP I don't I don't get it personally. Uh any farm sim mods on nineteen I recommend. Um GPS, Lobsters, Guidance Steering is GPS. That's a really good one. Any map put out by Stevie. Um I don't know. Trying to think of like really good ones. No collision camera. Lime to auger wagon. There's some good ones, right? No collision camera should be stock in the game. I'm back. Welcome back. All the forestry stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good forestry. Brox chipper. Yeah, you get the right Brox. It's got to be the right one. Got to be the right one. That one we had was... Mm. Uh, Ragfest, I do play ATS. I actually played it last night for the first time in like 10 months. But yes. Any plans to use the modular BGA? Uh, probably not on this map. No. Oh, Barrett, bailing contracts. They're a little broken on this map, I feel like, right? We tried two and they were busted like broke our map that day it was not okay uh but how you doing welcome in new chatter how, you, how are you how are you all right 
we're gonna get it right this time, chat watches. Huh? Gotta back up further. Alright. Yeah, probably no modular BGA. I haven't messed with that yet, but no. There is so much to it. Huh. Oh, good. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Seasons for 19 is not a good mod. No. I disagree with you, Rocky Mountain. Did not like Seasons for 19. No. I'm the same way with Seasons for 19. I like the Seasons in 22, though. I will say that much. Because it's kind of like stripped down. It's not as... Complicated. Because to me, the 19 one was just, well, 19 and 17, it was just too complicated. Too much to it. I didn't like it. Did not like it. But now, so, um, any map put out by Stevie, though, definitely play it. Ringwood. Oh. Ringwood it was our last map we played on 19. I also called it Ringworm a lot, but you know. That's okay. That's okay. Do each their own? Sounds pretty sassy. Sorry, I'm not trying to troll you again, Iraqi Mountain. Maybe a little. I'm trying to bait you. But anyway, yeah, no, I know a lot of people like seasons of 19. I just, I like precision. It was okay for a little bit. I think seasons for 19 was just a little too hard, even simplified. Yeah, I just wasn't a huge fan of it. Was not a huge fan of it. Uh. What is going on here? <laughs> Why do I get that's what is the best way to oh just grow wheat just grow wheat is all you need <laughs> yeah just feed wheat grow it put it in your storage and just feed them yeah grow your own wheat absolutely chat i'm very confused my one brother just texted me and just asked what my dad's favorite pizza was. Can I send him a voice thingy and just like yell at him? Yeah, he goes, what's dad's favorite pizza? Please reply, not watching the stream. Just watch the stream. Just watch this, you know? <laughs> Your TikTok all oh, left. That's dangerous for you, right? Yes, it is. Gotta wait a bloody year. Dang. What? Fire, or, uh, not fire. Bigger's bull. It crashed and I want you to reset your router. That's kind of weird. That's very strange, isn't it? Wow. It'd be easier if he was just watching the stream, I could explain to him, because it's like, you gotta explain, you know? There's an explanation here for dad's favorite pizza. I wonder if he's driving past Casey's right now. Because he was the one in Kansas City today. 
Or if he's driving past the Casey's. Probably. But he wouldn't be coming to my house. <laughs> Should plant a lot. Yeah. They are hungry, aren't they? Of course, we have three pens of them, so they, they chew through it. Maybe he was going to pick up a couple pizzas for you guys. I don't know. Kind of weird. What is what is Dad's favorite pizza? Cause like Dad'll mess with like a barbecue bacon like chicken pizza. Dad'll mess with like regular old sausage pizza. Hmm. Just try to get a restart before you touch your router. Gotcha. Hmm. I would say like, man, this is a hard question, kind of. Cause like. Sausage and bacon, Dad will mess with that. But sausage is probably just the, the, an easy one, right? It's like sausage with a light amount of sauce, or white sauce, actually. Hmm. It's so complicated. Why does he got to text me? Text somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Bert, you even know. <laughs> Gotta have a light amount of sauce. That pineapple would upset him. He will eat pizza with pineapple on it, but it's not his favorite. Pineapple's like, you know, kind of remotely healthy, therefore dad's not. Dad's not about it. <laughs> <laughs> It had green attached to it once. Yeah, Dad's not eating. Okay, not not doing that. What do I tell him? Can I reply to him only using emojis? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> How would you do light sauce and emojis? <laughs> I think the, the hand emote, but like a little. <laughs> They have a, I have a maybe, sock. maybe use like a, like a light sock or something for the light part of the sauce. Do they have a sauce? <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> then he'll call me. That's fine. Okay, I'm looking in the food. Uh, I'm looking in the food emotes here, emojis. Dude, dude, I want. <laughs> Respond to him only in emojis. <laughs> uh, that would be great. A light bulb and a, oh, I don't think he would get that. I'm thinking like the tiny hand, like this one where it's like, eh, but sauce. How do you do that? Oh, there's tomato. There is so like a tomato a thing of soup. Okay, here, hang on. So if we do like that one, but there's no sausage one. How do I get sausage pizza? Like, <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> yeah, like that, Trent. <laughs> do they have an emoji for hot dog? Do they have you an emoji? that to represent a sausage. They do have an emoji. It's a hot dog in a bun. Yeah, you know, it should be able to get it. I could put a carrot on there. <laughs> oh. I have to look. I'll look for alternative emoji. I only want to reply to emojis. I don't know why. What, what about those three, John? But Dad doesn't really like pepperoni. Yeah, I know, but it's a pizza. I know that. Well, you wanted to see talk. To me, uh. Or send a sentence through email. There yeah, you but I have to get like sausage pizza. Or just like, because so, he he doesn't need to know pizza. He already knows that part. You know what I'm saying? Because like he's but asking me what. Two emotes. He's asking me what dad's favorite. How do you get sausage out of that though? That's what I don't know how to do in emoji land. I mean, the hot dog could be a thing. I don't know if he would get that. But, like, that could be a thing, right? Should I send it to him just to see what he says? 
<laughs> like the tiny. Oh. Uh, do they have like cooking ones? Cooking? Where you could see like a sausage or a brat, like on a on one of the skewers, like that you could hold over. Oh, barbecue. I don't think so. Uh, Bert, that was me apparently. Sorry, sir. I mean, I guess I could do. <laughs> There you go. There's a sausage. <laughs> He's going to be so confused if I send him a hot dog. <laughs> That's what came up for me when I her asked Siri to search up a, a hot dog or a sausage. Do they not have this one on my phone? Like the, the, the small, like the finger one, the hand one. Sorry, chat. I know I'm totally like derailed right now. They don't have that one on my phone. Why is that not a thing on my phone? Chat, I'm very disappointed right now. Why is that not a thing? Maybe there's a, maybe there's a GIF I could send him here. Would that work? Can I be like a, uh, like, can I search for, like, a pizza? <laughs> Is there, like, a sauce? Like, a little, little bit more gif? <laughs> like... <laughs> Just reply with something weird. Oh, this is too funny, chat. I like you're really struggling with this one. I kind of am. I just don't want to reply, honestly. Why doesn't it have the... It has all the other hands, but it doesn't have... Um, the one that you posted there, Trent. Or kind of like that one. It doesn't have that one. Uh, I could just send him a voice thing. That'd be easier, wouldn't it? I don't know if he can get it, but I'm going to do it. That sounds too easy there, John. I mean, texting him back is just far too easy. Right. You That's know? too easy, too. I don't want to do that. You got to have a little bit of fun with it. Hey, Trent. I don't think that's an emote that's on my phone. <laughs> Who are you texting back? My brother wants to know what Dan's favorite pizza is. He says he's not watching the stream. Please reply. I was trying to reply to him all in emotes. But I don't know how you explain a sausage pizza with a light amount of sauce. But my it's the sauce we like got. I could do that. Well, I can't do that because my phone doesn't have that emote for some reason. <laughs> but like, because it's an old boomer. I don't know how you explain sausage on a <laughs> emote without getting inappropriate. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh, a pig. Oh, a pig. Uh, <gasps> Check the Good chip. idea. Good idea left. As long as it's not confused with ham. That, oh, yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, okay. I need a pig and then, like, a meat grinder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finely chopped ham? What? Hey, hey, chat, I need you guys to do something. Go to YouTube. Go to your subs page. <laughs> That's Black cat. Double played. Thank you. What do you want? And go to your go to your guys' sub boxes on YouTube and turn the reminder on for the video. Oh, on. yeah. Turn the bell on. And like it. Boom. First like. Sorry. I can be, you know. She a fan. I just sent him an audio thing. <laughs> and it sounds like I'm in the 1800s talking into my phone. Oh, it's because it's coming through this headset. Probably. <laughs> the audio's terrible. <laughs> anyway. A pig and a hot dog. I gotta take my mom's car key back to her. Uh, okay. Because totally, you could do like the and then so, like that would work. Let's go into Twitch on my phone. I'm having too much fun with this conversation, chat. I don't know why. Yeah, you are. Yeah, this is this is amusing me greatly. Okay. 
I just want to throw that out there. How to entertain John 101. Yeah. Let's talk about replying. Hey, hey, to end it, send the blushing emoji. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if he would know the joke. Oh, man. I don't know. First time? No, it's my other brother. Oh, other brother. It's, Hi, other uh, brother. He's not watching stream. He said he's not watching stream. That's why he wants me to, like, text him back, because he's not watching the stream. Oh, well, there you go. There's your opportunity to send that emo. The blushy face one? Yeah. I don't know if he knows that one or not, like the story. Hey, is he on iOS or Android? Uh, Android? Dang it. I always, I don't know why, but I always do this when... I'm, when I know I'm talking to other people like cross platforms, like you sound iOS. Like Apple. No, I say, and they're like, why'd you send that emote? And I'm like, what did it send? And I'll always just refer oh. to the, oh, it must just because you're on a different like phone than I am. It shows up different. Because some emotes actually do. Yeah. So I just always pull that, even though. Yeah, yeah. like on Twitch, uh, the sauce can for me. It was an actual tomato sauce, but on Twitch, it's like a... Uh, it's, it's a tomato a sauce peach. for me on, on my uh, phone to drink. Yeah, they don't translate to Twitch very well. Be honest. I mean, the hand one and the two one translated pretty well. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Wow, left. You're such a nice guy. Such a nice guy there, left. What is that, Carson? The flying saucer. You know, once you say it, I actually do see it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Remember this flying saucer mod in 19? It was a light. He just replied, thank you. <laughs> All right, blushy face emote inbound. <laughs> I just sent my brother the blushy face emote chat. <laughs> That translates to Twitch so much differently than what I see on my phone. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Did he send a nice record? No, it's Snapchat. Blow it up. Stop it. Yeah, it's Farmer Nick. It is Farmer Nick. There's one from Shane from earlier, too, I haven't looked up. I think he, he does know the blushy face emote right. like story. I'm pretty sure he does. 